Hey guys, it's Jackie and I'm here today with my December favorites and my 2012 highlights and recaps and all that good stuff. I cannot believe this year is almost over. I'm so excited for 2013. This has been an amazing year, but I'll talk more about that later because I want to get started with my December favorites because this video is going to be really long. So my favorite foundation for the month of December has been Benefit's Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow. And as you can tell, I am almost done with this. But I love it because it's really hydrating and moisturizing. And especially because it's winter, my skin has been a lot more drier than usual. So this has been an amazing foundation. So this next product has been a favorite throughout the month of December. But it hasn't come out yet to stores. It comes out in spring of 2013, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. But it is the Benefit. Fit World Famous Neutrals Kit and this is what it looks like. I've been using this so much this month. This color is my favorite. It's called Kiss Me I'm Tipsy. Silly name but I love this color. It's like a plummy chocolate brown and it's so gorgeous in the crease. And the reason I wanted to share it with you guys um, even though it hasn't come out yet because I really do. I, I have another one of the um, World Famous Neutrals Kit which is nice but I love this one. So if you're like thinking of picking up this one when it does come out I would say get this one which is the most glamorous nudes ever eyeshadow kit. For moisturizer, I have the Jerlique Balancing Day Care Cream, and I've been loving this so much, especially since my skin has been a lot more drier throughout this month. And in my last favorites, I mentioned I was using the UB moisturizer, and I still am, but that one, like I said in my last favorites, it's really thick and heavy, so I like to wear that at nighttime. So this is a perfect moisturizer for day for daytime, and I don't think there's SPF, so that's the only thing. Um, if they could like change something about this, I wish they would keep this, but just add SPF in it. And since we are in winter, I had to include a lip balm, and this is the Vaseline Lip Therapy, and this is amazing. Um, I just posted on my Facebook a uh, quick little Jack Jack's Beauty tip. If your lips are chapped, that means you are getting dehydrated and you need to drink a lot more water. I think it's important to not only hydrate from within with water, I think it's important to hydrate the exterior as well, so that's why I would recommend a good lip balm, and this Vaseline Lip Therapy is the best lip balm I've ever tried, and I put this on at night and then I wake up with really soft, kissable, smooth lips, so I definitely recommend this one. And then my last beauty related favorite is a shower gel and I think the last time I talked about this um, besides my what's in my shower video it was a favorite in January I think. it was, I think it might have been my January favorites or my December favorites last year but it is Lush It's Raining Men and this shower gel they sell all year round but I like it especially during um, fall and winter because it has such a warm honey smell and I, I don't know I just... I like it more during winter, I don't know. My fashion favorite for the month of December has been my denim and pleather um, jacket that I got from shopcivilized.com. I mentioned it in my last video, but um, it has denim right here and then pleather sleeves and this thing is just so comfortable. It's so edgy and cool looking and I wear it all the time. If you watch my vlogs, you see it all the time. And if you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting pictures wearing this jacket quite a lot. It's definitely my favorite and I'm just, I was wearing it today actually too. I just, I love this jacket so much. Now for my favorite YouTuber of the month, it's Itty Bitty Baker One. She is so adorable. I've been loving her videos. She is just so precious and so cute, and she has um, a full lifestyle um, channel. She does cooking and baking, and then fashion and makeup and beauty. So she definitely has a like a well-rounded lifestyle channel. She even has some tags on there. She's so adorable, and she is just so full of energy and. So so cute and uh, I just want to squeeze her cheeks. Um, you guys should go check her out. You guys are going to love her and go tell her Jackie sent you and all that good stuff. Now it's time to recap on this entire year. Two thousand twelve has seriously been amazing. So first, I want to start off with all the beauty products that I've been loving, and these are products that I find myself continually using. I've mentioned in favorites videos, and I still continue to use them even after I've mentioned them. These are like 
the top favorites of 2012. So I'm gonna go through this fast because there is a lot. So I'm sure you guys can already guess what the first favorite is and it is my Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Face Powder in the color beige and this has been my favorite powder this entire year and actually ever since I started making YouTube videos. This was like the one of the first makeup products I ever bought and I continue to buy it because I just love it so much. This is like the best powder Ever. You get good coverage, it's natural, and it's easy to work with, and it's just, it's beautiful. Favorite concealer has definitely been the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer, and I have the color tan, and I know that um, they've changed the packaging and the names, so the names are actually numbers now, so I'm not sure what tan would be equivalent to. If anyone knows, please let me know. But this is like the best concealer ever if you want that perfect plastic Barbie look. This is like a heavy duty concealer without that dry gross feeling that most heavy duty concealers have. It's really lightweight and moisturizing and um, I don't just really easy to blend and work with. And like I said, this is probably not a concealer I would recommend for like everyday natural looks. This is like if you want to look like a Barbie, like a perfect Barbie, this is the concealer to get. Now for blush, this one was kind of tricky to pick because I'm constantly changing up my blushes, but I have to say throughout this entire year I've been loving the Bella Bomba blush. So it's a very bright, bright pink magenta blush and I like it if you if you use like a really light hand, it can be very light and natural and perfect for spring and summer. But if you use a heavy hand, you know, you can get really bright bright blush, which I love. I'm a cheek product girl. Like, um, out of all the makeup products, I love cheek, cheek products, so like highlighters and blushes. So I usually, when I'm putting makeup on, I usually, I have a heavy hand when it comes to blush because I love blush. Favorite mascara for 2012, hands down, is Benefits They're Real. I think I even said this in a video, but when I first got it, I did not like it at all. But once I let it dry up a little bit, it oh my gosh, it, it's amazing. And I wear this every single day. I think I'm almost out, so got to pick up another one. But this is definitely my favorite mascara, hands down. I know you guys are probably getting sick of all the Benefit, but seriously, Benefit is my favorite makeup brand. They don't pay me to say any of this. I just really love Benefit. So my favorite lipstick throughout 2012 is definitely the Benefit La La Land lipstick. And this is what it looks like. I mentioned this in my um, favorite fall and winter lip products. And this is perfect for fall and winter, like I mentioned in that video. But I also like it for um, spring and summer. And I would just use a, like a, a pinkish nude lip gloss on top to make it just a little bit lighter. But it's definitely a perfect nude for all year long. And for lip gloss, um, I've been loving Sugar Bomb from Benefit. This is the Ultra Plush Lip Gloss, and I just love how soft it is. It glides on, and it's not sticky at all. It smells like candy. Oh, it smells so good. It's very sheer, so your lips aren't going to be super dark and mauve like this, but um, because it's sheer, you get a nice, pretty like glaze on your lips, and I just think it's really pretty, and this definitely works all year long. My last favorite lip product for 2012 is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in the color Natural. And at first I didn't think I would like this that much because it's matte and it's really light. But it actually works really nice and I love it. I'm wearing it right now. It's, it's a pinky color but it's like a perfect nude pinky color. Like because it still gives you your lips like life. You know how some nudes can just make you look dead? This is like that nude that can make your lips still look lively, you know what I mean? I don't know if that made any sense, but I love this one a lot. It's only $3, so thumbs up. For brushes, I have two that I've used almost every single day. I am totally in love with them, head over heels in love with them. And the first one is the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush, and this one is just so perfect for liquid foundation. I cannot stress how much I love this brush so much. And I like, um, it is quite similar to the, um, the e.l.f. Flat Top Kabuki brush, but I like this one better. It's more dense and it doesn't shed. Um, I'm, I find that my e.l.f. one does shed a little bit, but this, this brush is just amazing. That's why it made it into my favorites for this entire year. And this brush, I've actually, I don't think I've ever talked about it, but it is a favorite of mine throughout this entire year. I use it for my powder every single day, and it's the Boomy, uh, what is Genius face brush. It's this gigantic brush. It's huge, but I love to um, either buff in or pack in the powder. So this is just amazing. It's super dense and thick, and 
I don't know, I, I just love this for powder and I use it every day like I said so that that is why it made it into favorites for 2012. So I've never been the type that's really into painting my nails. You guys know that I tried to get into painting my nails, I really did try but it's just not my thing. But when I do paint my nails I have to have the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength Nail Hardener. This stuff is amazing. I, I think it's just a top coat, but I use it as a base coat and a top coat. So it protects my nails from staining, and then it also just finishes my nails with a really nice shine. And if you are into painting your nails, this is this is where it's at, baby. So now I have some makeup wipes to share with you guys, and my favorite for 2012 all year long has been the Pond's um, Original Fresh Wet Cleansing Towelettes. And I buy these all the time in packs because these are my favorite face facial cleansers to remove my makeup on lazy days. Um, I have a makeup remover that I'll show you in a second that I love to use, but for my lazy days, I love to just take one of these and wipe off my makeup, and they work amazing. They, um, do, they don't irritate my skin or anything like that, so these are like a must, must have. For cleansers, I hands down, it is my Michael Todd's Honey and Oats Cleanser. I talk about this all the time because I seriously do love this product because this takes off all my makeup so easily easily and like it's I don't know I wear like 17 billion coats of mascara and this takes it off with ease and it removes all my makeup and it really cleanses my face really nicely and um, I I love 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 the smell of it it's like um, kind of citrusy and like you do have that honey in there but it's like honey with a citrus twist to it it's delicious I just want to eat it so my favorite hair care product has been the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This is my absolute favorite hair product ever. And for deep conditioners, this is just freaking amazing. I have another one in my shower for backup because this stuff is just so awesome. So I like to use this about once a week and I put it a little bit on my roots, but I concentrate it on my ends. And then once I rinse it out, like I leave it in for about like 15 minutes. Once I rinse it out, my hair feels so amazing and it looks so shiny and so good. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a deep conditioner. So favorite movie of 2012 is definitely Breaking Dawn Part 2. Yes, I am one of those girls. I went crazy over Breaking Dawn and oh, oh my gosh. I can't believe it's over, but you know what? I have to give it to them. They ended it so perfectly. Like I am, I am just so happy and satisfied with the way they ended it. So very good. I, I loved that movie so much. I was like crying and screaming throughout the whole thing. I loved it. So a big highlight of 2012 was when I moved into my very first apartment. Uh, this is my first time living on my own and having my own place and it has been so amazing and I feel so blessed and happy and I am just so thrilled and excited that I've been able to share this whole experience with you guys. If you watch a lot of my videos here or if you watch my vlog channel, you've seen this place turned from like absolutely nothing and empty to my little home now that I just love so much. So I, it's been an awesome experience and I'm just so excited. 2012, finally moved out of my parents' house and I got my own place. So definitely exciting. And another big moment, and this is probably the biggest moment of this year and my life in general is that I found God and I cannot thank my friends enough. Karis, Tati, and James, they have been so amazing and they have inspired me in so many ways and they've encouraged me and motivated me to pursue a relationship with God and I cannot thank them enough because when that moment hit me and I found God and I felt His love in my heart, my life just changed. Karis, Tati, or James, if you guys are watching this, I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart because I honestly, I don't think, I don't think I would have um, even thought of pursuing a relationship with God without your guys' help and without your guys' inspiration. You guys inspire me without even knowing it. You really, really do. So I don't want to go on and on about it because I know not everyone is comfortable with this topic, but I just wanted to share that with you guys that that has been the biggest highlight of my life and of 2012. So um, super amazing and I'm so happy. And the last thing, um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to share this with you guys or not, but you know what? I, I am going to share it. A highlight of 2012, um, I guess it's not a highlight, it's like a low light of 2012. Um, 
was when Callie passed and it has been incredibly hard but uh, I think I've gotten a lot stronger through this whole process and having your guys' support and your prayers, it, it means the world to me and it has helped me and my family out so much and um, it's definitely something I'm not going to forget about this year. It's That was definitely a big, big moment. I actually wrote a blog post um, called Losing a Loved One and it's just my way of trying to pick myself up and pick up my family and help anyone else out there who has ever lost a loved one. Um, I know some of you guys are probably laughing because I'm getting all sad and serious about losing Callie. We got her when I was 8 years old and I'm 21 now so she's been with me through more than half of my life and so um, it was definitely hard to lose her, but like I said, every day I'm getting a little bit stronger and I did write a really deep blog post that I hope helps anyone out there um, struggling to get over or heal from losing a loved one. I will leave that linked in the down bar if anyone wants to check that out. If you just need words of encouragement and if you just need your heart to be lifted um, from such a tragedy. So I hope it helps and yeah, so let's kind of turn the mood around. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you had an amazing 2012. Bye, have a magical day.